Hello again. Uh, revenue curves. Um, revenue curves, because revenue is money coming into the business from the sale of their goods. And uh, we have to look at revenue curves uh, in two kinds of market structure. Perfect competition. Perfect competition is a market structure where there are uh, homogenous goods, identical goods being made by all firms, many small firms, many buyers, perfect knowledge, and uh, absolutely no barriers to entry. And then we'll look at imperfect competition, which is more realistic, all other kinds of market structure from monopolistically competitive uh, through oligopoly and monopoly. The key point here is that goods are not homogenous. So let's start with perfect competition. Um, marginal revenue, which is the extra revenue gained um, from each additional sale, will be a horizontal line. That's because, um, and that's also the average revenue curve, because it's also the demand curve. Um, that's because uh, this, this is the firms in perfect competition face a perfectly elastic demand curve. They sell all their goods at price P1. Uh, they cannot raise their price. They would lose all their customers who have perfect knowledge and know that homogenous goods are available elsewhere. There's no brand loyalty. So every unit they sell, one, two, three, four, five, six, every unit they sell will be sold at the same price. So the extra revenue gained for each extra sale is the same. It's always P. And so that's also the average revenue. And that's a very easy curve to draw. So revenue on a total scale, total revenue now, will simply rise in a linear fashion. OK, it starts at 0, 0, with no output, there's no revenue. But with each extra unit they sell, they'll get an extra P1. If they sell 10, they'll get 10 times P1. If they sell 20, they'll get 20 times P1, and so on. So this is a very easy set of curves. It's less easy when we look at imperfect competition. So let me just switch sides, and uh, we'll try and now deal with imperfect competition. Well, here, because goods are not homogenous, because they're differentiated in these market structures, the D curve is downward sloping. How steep that is depends on the market structure. But let's just draw a standard D curve here, which is also the average revenue curve. The marginal revenue curve will fall twice as steeply. Okay? Marginal revenue, twice as steep. I'm not getting into why that is now, but the point basically, simply put, is that if they want to sell another unit, they have to lower the price. The demand curve tells us that. But if they lower the price of the extra unit, they've got to lower the price for all previous units as well. And that means that the extra revenue gained from the sale of one more unit is severely damaged and reduced because they're cutting the price of all previous products to be sold as well. And uh, that, that means the extra revenue gained from the sale of one more is much lower than its price. Okay, so we've got a D curve and an MR curve like this. The total revenue curve will peak where MR equals zero. If I draw the revenue curve, it's going to go something like this. And then it's also, if I continue that, it's also going to come down like this. This is the total revenue curve. Well, what's happening here? Of course, it starts at zero, zero. There's no revenue when they sell no goods. As they increase their sales, the extra revenue being gained, the marginal revenue, is falling. That's why the TR is sloping off. That's why it's not linear. For instance, when they sold this good, maybe the third good, they gained an extra revenue of that much. But when they sold the sixth good, they only gained an extra revenue of that much. So the total revenue is rising more slowly. And it peaks here, at this output level Q, where MR equals zero. Because the extra revenue gained from the sale of this Qth unit is zero. So the total revenue does not change. Revenue peaked here. The next unit brings in negative marginal revenue. And so the total revenue has to start falling. Okay, so if a firm wants to maximize its revenue, it must sell where Q is uh, the output level where MR equals zero. And we get this revenue curve that curves over like this. Okay, hope that was helpful for you. Bye-bye.